Namaste. Good morning. Oh, I couldn't not come down here. It is just magical. When I finish this stream, I'll take the I'll take the camera and show you around a little bit. But good morning. Namaste. Uh, my name's Leanne Peters. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And um, I'm here to share some guidance for Saturday and Sunday. I'm coming to you live from Tasmania, Australia. I'm down here at, at not seven, at Five Mile Beach, which is my absolutely favourite place to come right now. Um, the tree sculptures, the otherworldly feeling, it's just, this is just where my heart loves to be. So I've um, just left the house to come down and connect here and I thought I'd share a video too. So you probably can't see me very clearly, but it doesn't really matter, <laughs> I don't think, because I mean, look at this view in the background, it's just incredible. So right now it's Saturday the 30th of June. And the time is exactly 9.30 a.m. So 9.30 a.m. And um, yeah, I'm here to share some guidance. So I've got my Speed of Light Oracle cards. And I'm going to be looking for the best card for Saturday the 30th of June. And the best card for Sunday the 1st of July. And then the best card for the theme for Saturday and Sunday. So I'm not doing personal requests for guidance here today. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust that you've been led here for a reason. And I trust that something shared will be helpful and supportive for you. Just take on board what feels right. Let the rest go. And just think of this as a guide only. Um, you will know what resonates with you because it will make sense. It will be relevant to you in your life somehow. You shouldn't need to force something to fit. It should just naturally make sense if it's guidance you need to hear. Just let everything else go. It doesn't matter. Extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much. You help me be able to bring these videos out to you and out to others. So thank you so much for your support. Whew, let's just stop and take some nice deep breaths. I'm going to step aside. Um, I've still got my microphone on. So just pause for a moment if you've got the time. Just take a couple of really nice big breaths. And imagine yourself here. Maybe walking along the beach. Maybe swimming or floating out in the bay. With the morning sun shining on you. Think about letting go of your worries, your concerns, your stresses, the things that you're attached to, that you're giving your power away to. Think about letting those go now. Surrender them. Unattach what you've been attached to. And just bring yourself fully into this moment it's really magical and beautiful so ah it's so gorgeous ah, there's not enough words really to describe how absolutely incredible this is um, but before I go I'll I've got you sitting up here on this tree that you can see in the background <laughs> this tree here is roots this whole tree is upturned it's a beautiful old tree it's probably a pine I'd say by the look of the other trees around, a pine tree. And this shoreline is just lined with trees like this. They're just like sculptures to me and they're just so inspiring. I love trees so much. But anyway, we've got some guidance to share, so let's let's do that. Uh okay, looks like I'm running out of data for some weird reason because I had a stack of data. Oh well, 
these things happen. If I suddenly cut off, I suddenly cut off. So let's get the let's get the stuff happening. I'm looking for the best card for Saturday, the 30th of June. Um, and I trust the best card will find its way to the top. Uh, we'll go with this card for Saturday here. We've got card 31 called Expression. And it says communication, listen, share, deliver and trust. So communications, conversations, expressing ourselves feels to be important and very supportive um, for us on, on Saturday in general. So we might find that um, we might open up our heart, we might um, talk about things that have been on our mind, but it feels to be a favourable time for expressing, communicating and conversing with other people. So let's trust what we need to say and deliver what we have to say. If we've been learning lately about um, not investing our time and attention and our words um, in our old story and keeping the old story alive or gossip or judgment and if we've been really consciously aware of avoiding going into conversations like that we may be tested on that on Saturday in conversations and really um, I guess be aware of what we're saying or aware of what we're listening to and make sure that uh, what we're speaking matches up with our heart and our truth and what we've recently decided is the best way of communicating. For example if we're in a conversation with someone and we suddenly get into the uh, fall into the habit again of gossiping about a family member or a, what the neighbor's doing or something that happened to us last week we might want to catch ourselves doing that and ask ourselves is this what we need to be talking about is there something that's more important something that's more relevant and current to now rather than keeping some judgment or some old story alive so I feel like our habits are going to be tested communication wise on Saturday so let's be super aware of what we're saying and what we're not saying on Saturday but a great time to open up share our heart share our deepest thoughts and express in a uh, trusting way in regards to trusting our voice, <laughs> trusting our words, realizing and recognizing that our voice and our words are our friend. So let's work with our voice, let's work with our words. So that's the guidance for Saturday, the last day of June 2018. So now I'm looking for the best card for July the 1st. 2018 so that's Sunday and I trust the best card will find its way to the top which we will go with this card right here oh perfect sacred haven card five it says gratitude connect reflect and stand still this card reminds us to stand still and count our blessings any time but especially on Sunday so we might find that we have a little bit of time to ourselves or a time maybe with um, people that are important to us where we can just kind of stop and savor the sacred moments that are being offered to us or that are being generated or that are being created that are are there they're sacred so if you're struggling right now and life is just too hard, this card's reminding you to do your best to find things to be grateful for. And when we're in a really tough space, when we're struggling to survive, or if we're dealing with um, intense things right now, it can be really difficult to find anything to be grateful for. So strip it right back if you can, right back to your being alive, your breathing right now. You woke up today, you have food to eat, you have a bed to sleep in, you have clothes to keep you warm or keep you comfortable. So there are things, everyday basic things of your survival that you can strip like your attention to, strip your attention back and get into focusing on those things that you can really appreciate and then see what expands from there. I'm a firm believer that it's a waste of time to prattle off things that we are grateful for if we don't really feel it. 
So thinking that I should be grateful for this or I should be grateful for that, so I'm just going to say it um, without really meaning it, um, is pointless to me. I feel like we need to, that to get the most out of gratitude and working with the power of it is to be genuinely grateful for what we're saying we're grateful for or what we're feeling that we're grateful for. So if you struggle to say the words that you're grateful for something because you're just not feeling it right now, you might be in a low space, then just get back to something that you are grateful for. Hey, I woke up today. That is something to appreciate. I have food to eat. Many other people don't. I'm grateful for that. So, you know, there's a difference between just saying you're grateful and genuinely feeling it. So connect in with that genuine gratitude if you can, especially on Sunday. Stop and look at the people in your life, the things in your life that you can appreciate and allow yourself to stop and stand still, stand tall and feel that gratitude just filling you up like you were an empty cylinder being filled up with gratitude. It's a beautiful feeling. Um, and it takes a bit of effort to do. We can fall into the habit of not thinking um, along those lines. We can fall into the habit of thinking the worst of things and the things that we're missing in our life, the things that aren't there. So let's stop that habit and start looking at, hey, what can I be grateful for right now? So what can you be grateful for right now? I know I'm very grateful for this incredible space that's just like I live literally just over there if I had my kayak with me I could paddle over to where I live pretty closely Um, I am so grateful for this moment and I feel it in my heart so feel it genuinely so stand still gratitude connect gratitude will help you connect and it might sound so trivial trivial (laughs) and so simple but gratitude does help us reconnect with ourselves and our life So try it, especially if you're struggling. Okay, let's grab a theme card for Saturday and Sunday. I really don't know how much data my phone has got left because it was warning me before, which is just really weird. Oh, although I did do hours of videos the other day. That's probably why. Okay, the best card for the theme, and I think of the theme card as bringing these days together and helping us see the bigger picture for Saturday and Sunday. So just remember this is a guide only, some food for thought, some things to think about. If it's confirmation you've already been receiving or things you've already been experiencing in your life, then take that as a confirmation. This is the theme. Oh gosh, this card is so popular right now. It keeps coming up video after video and I'm not surprised because I'm certainly feeling it. I don't know if you are. It's card 38 called Focus and it says holding position, timing and growth. This is a really super time of being focused. Um, I've noticed though for me to stay focused, I'm having to detach or unattach uh, yeah, detach, (laughs) recognize my attachments and detach from them, whether they're attachments to people, to ideas, to beliefs, to thoughts, to things, to my future, to my past, to anything. I'm having to absolutely release all attachments. And what that's doing is giving me a really great, clear space inside myself to stay focused So there is very favourable energy around at the moment and in the last week probably of staying focused. So um, just be careful you're not procrastinating or overthinking things or being attached to things that you don't need to be attached to. When we're attached to something, whether it's an idea, a dream about our future, a person, an object, a belief, whatever we might be attached to, we give our power away to it. So it actually drains our energy. We're attached. What are you attached to? And how can you practice detachment? Would that be to your benefit right now? Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. It's up to you to decide. But I'm noticing detachment is helping me stay so focused. So if you have things to do, things you want to work on, and you're feeling a bit scattered, maybe think about what you're attached to and how you can detach. Um... 
And detaching almost is a, a securing to me of my boundaries, a space I'm stepping into that's so deep with self-love that I am feeling attached, attachless, <laughs> attached to nothing. I'm not even feeling attached to myself. I, I just feel but I feel in purpose. It's a sort of a bit difficult to explain, but I'm feeling around it. And these are things I'm exploring personally right now. So also with this card, just be a bit careful that you don't have people in your ear telling you that you should do something or you shouldn't do something that they think they know how to live your life. And on the, I guess on the opposite hand, just be careful. You're not thinking that you have to live someone else's life. So if you're being too opinionated on someone else, you know, maybe notice that, take some steps back, detach and let that person live their life. So hold strong and true to yourself. Let other people hold strong and true to their selves as well. So interesting, focus is our theme and very supportive for that. Now is a great time to focus, get our projects done, complete, do things. Ah, oh, focus on our own well-being and connections. It's beautiful time actually. I'm feeling. So I've used my Speed of Light Oracle cards today. If you want to learn more about them or add them to your collection, they're very, very easy to use and there's 55 cards in this deck. When you're buying a deck, just take note of the amount of cards because a lot of the mainstream publishers sneak a small amount of cards into a big box to make you think it's a perception thing. It's a marketing fool, uh, marketing, what would you say, marketing... Um, lie really I think is to pack 20 cards or 30 cards in a massive box because it makes the customer think that they're buying lots of cards or big cards and most of the time they're not so just a little tip when you're buying cards make sure you're getting a nice amount of cards otherwise what's the point if you're having 20 cards um, there's not much information in the cards that you can pick. So um, there's 55 in this deck. Um, I'd be buying an Oracle deck with 44 cards or more, no less. So just a bit of a tip there. So thank you for connecting today. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button. <laughs> Show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you want to connect more privately, just send us a message through our website. Before I go, I'm going to just show you around a little bit before my data dies. Um, if you want to learn more about the work that I do, please visit my website at templeofbalance.com.au. Um, it's been lovely to spend this time with you and um, share this, my most favourite place to be right now, um, to share this with you. So I trust you've enjoyed our time together. So I'm just going to nip over here, grab my bag, hopefully, without pulling you off. And I'm going to show you around just a little bit. So I'm going to turn the camera around. Maybe. Okay. This is, the, this is where you were sitting. <laughs> Hold on, let me straighten this camera up. This is where you were sitting. And I would say this is a pine tree. And these beautiful upturned roots are just amazing. So let's look around here. There's not a breath of wind. And this is how our days have been probably for the last um, four or five days, maybe a little bit longer really misty I don't know if you can see in the distance it's slightly misty to calm and there's not a person in sight there's not even really much of a building in sight it is incredible So, thank you so much for joining me today. It's a gum tree in the distance. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I trust you feel even just a little bit better from our connection and time together today. I trust it's been supportive for you. And um, 
have a lovely weekend. I'll start walking back to the car. Um, yeah, have a lovely weekend and um, I will definitely be back to connect with you again very, very soon. So sending you lots of love and great blessings. I know that you can take the steps to improve yourself and your life if you're not happy. I believe in you. Can you believe in you? Can you believe that it's possible for you to improve your life and improve yourself? Because if you believe it, then you can back that up with action. Don't underestimate your potential. That's where I live, just in that darker area. So I just drive around the corner really, back on the highway and back home, about seven minutes away. So lucky and grateful to live in this beautiful place and be born here. Tasmania is so beautiful. It's, um, we're never far from, never far at all from the coast or from the country. A beautiful bit of gum tree it looks like that has fallen the colors in it are beautiful and the textures okie dokie I'm heading off now so have a fantastic weekend and happy transitioning into July and I will absolutely be back to share with you again real soon Thank you. Namaste.